Morning, Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal. We're here today at a client's house. We have shingles and flat roof we're doing. I'll take you, I'll take you on. I'll show you what it looks like. Thank you for watching. If you're in the southwest Ontario area, give us a call. We'd love to come help. Um, here we are, flat roof and shingles. We'll show you how the details. We'll show you how to roof it in, and we'll take you from there. Let's go. Okay, we've come on. We've come on top of the roof. I'll show you what the flat roof section looks like, and I'll show you how we're going to tie in to the shingles. So here. In order to roof this properly, what we have, we have the flat roof membrane coming. So we have to remove, in this case, we're going to remove three courses of shingles, bring our base and cap up to here, and then bring new shingles down so the water sheds properly onto the flat roof and down to the east drop. So we'll show you what that looks like. We have a issue with the shingles here. So we have some loosens here, which we're going to address throughout the day. I'll show you what that looks like. And that's it. So. I uh, hope you enjoy it, hope you learned something, and I'll bring you back when we get going. Thank you. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've, we've taken off the shingles over there. We've also added soap on board here. We've removed the shingles up to a certain area. So I'll show you what it looks like. If you can see it through the lens, this is the new sofa board that we've screwed down, and we've removed three courses of existing shingles that are there. So we're gonna bring our new roofing membrane up and over, up and underneath and then roof over. So that's kind of what the detail looks like here. We removed a vent stack here because it was redundant. So we decided to take it out. Just less uh, less possibilities of leaks because the more penetrations you have through the roof, the more areas where water can get in. So that's what we're at. I'll show you where the, where the shingles was. You remember we had shingles and felt paper here. We removed it all. This is the existing stack they have. Um, so his leak is right here so what we're going to do we've removed everything we're going to put a new uh peel stick ice and water shield on to cover the whole valley and all this area and then new shingles so show you what it looks like it's looking great so far we got some nice weather so i'll bring you back when we get some more work done thanks okay we're back we finished putting on the soper board we again we removed the shingles and we put new um base sheet down so show you what it looks like again just to reiterate we carried the base sheet all the way up to make sure any shedding water will shed onto the flat roof. So you can see the base sheet's now completely in. We've uh, based in the vent stack over there. And we're gonna put a new metal drip flashing here. The east trough's in good shape to, so, to save the client some money. You know, we left the east trough in place and we're just gonna put a new drip flashing. So I'll show you how the shingle part's turning out. So I don't know, the, we use a soper seal, it's a peel and stick uh, ice and water shield. It's uh, actually very good for a situation like this, which is going to hold in a good winter month, you're going to have snow and ice build up to here. So we laminate the whole thing with the uh, ice and water shield, new, um, new valley flashing, we're putting in the shingles. So I think it's turning out great so far. Uh, shingles are going in nice, it's a great match, as you can tell it's a great match to the old roof. So it's really turning out nice. So show you what it looks like when the shingles are on and we get some cap sheet on. Thanks. Okay, well, we finished the job. It turned out wonderful. I think the client's going to be thrilled. Uh, we had a wonderful, the way the flat roof laid down and the way we were able to watershed everything. So you can see behind me, there is his new flat roof. You can see on this detail here, we gave him new strip flashing. Again, the, the east drop was in great shape, so we didn't need to change that. We just gave him new strip flashing into the east drop. And, um, the detail with the vents is a lot cleaner roof now we don't have extra penetrations coming that aren't needed so you can see here these are the new shingles really matched in nice with the old you can hardly tell the difference and this was the tricky spot we had in here so inside we had uh yeah he has a closet in here that constantly leaked all the time and what was happening water was coming and in the winter it freeze and raise up because the slope isn't good isn't uh isn't graded enough so it raised and water will go underneath the shingle so we have fully ice and water shield here brand new shingles this should be excellent shape so i guess the flat roof is shooting now hope you like it hope you learned something if you're in the southwest ontario area give us a call we'd love to hear from you thank you very much